Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva and in this video we are going to talk about students who've done Bachelors of Arts or popularly known as BA. These are those students who according to society are academically dumb or below average. People think that these students are brainless. If they would have brains, they would have definitely taken up science or commerce. Because according to them, after doing BA, their careers are over, finished. Khatam. Bye bye. Tata. Goodbye. Gaya. There are no jobs, no good salaries, and respect. There is no respect either. I'm not saying this. This is society's general perception about BA as a degree. So today we are going to debunk all these stupid myths. I'm going to tell you 10 career paths which you can work on as a BA student, which will give you a lot of money and a lot of respect. And you can make these people shut their mouths forever. Before moving ahead, if you're new to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every Sunday, as soon as we upload a new video, you're the first one to know about it. We're proud to share that we are India's largest YouTube channel right now in the field of UGC net exam preparation. Now, let me begin today's video by giving you my own example. I scored 9.8 CGPA in grade 10th and I was an academically bright student. So I chose commerce in grade 11th and 12th and it didn't take me a lot of time to figure out that numbers don't attract me at all. So I chose to do BA honors in English literature right after school because I understood that teaching was my passion and English literature was my calling. And because I chose to do something I was passionate about, today I'm earning more than what my science and commerce stream friends earn. So if you really have similar kind of passion and the zeal to do hard work, the career paths that I'm going to tell you today, you can ace them like anything and earn so much money and respect for yourself. In Rai's movie, Shah Rukh Khan says a very beautiful line, Koi bhi dhanda chota nahi hota, aur dhande se bada koi dharm nahi hota. So ye na maane ki arts walo mein dham nahi hota. I agree that people might first laugh at you when you decide to pursue arts, but then, when they see the results and how well you are doing for yourself, then they will be the ones who will be calling you lucky. So hard work and passion are two things which will change the story of your life. MBA lelo ya engineers lelo, koi bhi lelo. After completing their degrees, they are now venturing out and doing startups from scratch. One prominent example of MBA is the MBA Chaiwala. It's beautiful how he followed his passion and made a very small idea into a million dollar company. So on this very pumped up note, let's start today's video and let's look at all the possible career options. Friends, the first career option is the most common career options that students opt for after doing BA. I'm taking it first because I want to debunk the myths that is around this and this career option is teaching. So there are three types of careers in the teaching field. The first one is teaching in a school. The second is teaching in a college as a lecturer or a professor. And the third is teaching in a coaching setup or a coaching institute. Let's first talk about the school teaching. There is a countrywide myth that school teachers do not get good salary packages. But that's just not right. If you pick up Doon School of Dehradun or let's say Mayo School of Ajmer, their salary packages like the salary packages of teachers working there are very, very fancy. Teachers there are earning a lot of money. I mean, if you are teaching in a very local school, of course, the packages won't be very lucrative. But with passion, zeal, teaching style and hard work, you can get into a very good school and from there you can start your career. With time, you can become coordinator, vice principal and even the principal. Let's now talk about teaching in colleges. So after doing BA, let's say you do MA and then you clear UGC net in the subject of your choice, then you can become a professor of a college or a university. And even college professors get really good salaries. Friends, if you have passion to teach and you get into a good college, then I swear there is no looking back. 
The third option, which has become very popular thanks to COVID, is online teaching. Friends, EdTech is very, very popular these days. And there are a lot of EdTech platforms that are coming up every day. Even my own website, arpatakarva.com, is also an EdTech platform. And with EdTech comes a lot of opportunities for you. You can join a good coaching institute as a teacher or alternatively, you can also open your own coaching institute. And the best part about online teaching is that you don't need a lot of investment. You don't need to pay rent or buy chairs for students or invest in technology and salaries of people, staff working with you. You can just be a single person army. Plus, geography is no concern because you can be living in Delhi and teach students from Tamil Nadu, from Assam, from Meghalaya. And friends, there is a lot of money in online coaching. If you talk about the reputed faculties of UPSC, the package range from somewhere around 50 lakhs to even 1 crore per year. Friends, such lucrative offers are not even offered by big MNCs like Google or Facebook to MBA and to consultants. So friends, in this field, there is no looking back. There is no limit to how much money you can earn. Before we move on to the next point, here is something that I want to share. If you want to make a career in the field of teaching, if you're preparing for UGC net paper one or paper two, MA entrance, PhD entrance, TGT, PGT, UPSC, GATE, SET, or any other competitive exam related to English literature, I have an amazing news for you. We offer detailed online video course for all these exams. In our online course, we provide you with topic-wise video lessons with rich animations covering all topics in a very step-by-step -step manner, which works even when you have not done any previous preparation. We also provide you high-quality PDF and revision notes that cover syllabus-wise topics comprehensively and ensure that you qualify your DREAM exam in just one attempt. Along with video lectures and PDFs, we also offer test series that consist of more than 3,000 unit-wise questions that comes with detailed explanation. Plus, after every test, you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in the All India Leaderboard, which will help you to spot your weak and strong areas. We cover all important topics, writers and works in our online course. The detailed list of all these topics that are covered in our online course is available free of cost on our website arpatakarva.com. Even if you're preparing for these exams on your own, I would highly recommend you to visit our website and download the detailed list of writers and check out the solved previous year papers for all these exams. It is available free of cost on the website. The link of our website and all our courses are given in the description box below. You can check out the course details from our website and even watch free demo lectures and attempt free demo mock tests before you decide to enroll in our course. For more information related to the courses that we offer, feel free to shoot your queries on the WhatsApp number displayed on your screen and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Now, coming on to the next career path, it is designing. Friends, there are n number of options in the field of designing. One of them is fashion designing. If you have a fashion sense and if you are passionate about the fashion industry and if you love reading about fashion world, this industry is for you. These days on Mintra, there are a lot of homegrown fashion brands. Even Instagram is filled with new fashion brands launching uh, different types of clothes and accessories every day. So you don't need to even associate yourself with big brands like Manish Malhotra. You can even make your own website and sell clothes and accessories on those uh, platforms. The next one in the field of designing only is my personal favorite and that is graphic designing and digital marketing. Friends, mark my words, this is the next big thing. Because COVID has made everything online, every brand need logo, creatives for their social media branding, visual ad copies, banners, basically for all the marketing collateral, a graphic designer is very, very important. Do you see the menus in cafes and restaurants? That is the work of a graphic designer. Behind every website, there is a UI UX designer who designs the graphic for the website. Related work 
uh, in the field of graphic designing also includes video editing, making GIFs, doing animations, etc, etc. Closely related to graphic designing is another field which is digital marketing. Now there's a huge boom in this industry right now. From validating a brand online to putting its entire branding in place, from creating and expanding its digital presence, including social media marketing, performance marketing, SEO, be it content or YouTube SEO, a digital marketer is the master of all these traits. And for these skills like graphic designing, digital marketing, you don't even need a degree from a very reputed college. Or I would rather say you don't need to even go to a college. You can learn all these skills online for free. Can you believe it? You can start as a freelancer and later as you grow, you can even start your own digital marketing company. Friends, the next career path is to be a psychologist. So after doing BA, if you feel that you have interest in psychology, mental health, I would personally suggest that you should do MA in psychology. If you are a good listener, if you have empathy as a skill, if you have good communication skills, you can become a very good psychologist. And the reason why I'm stretching so much on this topic is because after COVID, the need for therapists and psychologists have increased. COVID took a toll on a lot of people's health. Plus, according to statistics, can you believe in India, one out of every five individuals have some sort of mental health issue, whether they know it or not. And this trend is going to rise more in the coming years. And as mental health awareness is increasing day by day, the need for counselors and therapists will also increase. Because more and more people want to talk it out, talk about their problems, go to a therapist, they will need mental health experts. In fact, other than working as an individual psychologist, you can even work with MNCs after you do MA in psychology and you can help these MNCs to understand consumer psychology. Big brands have various positions available for such counsellors. Plus, all these big brands have started taking counsellors on board in their HR team so that they can help manage their employee stress and work anxiety in a better way. So a lot of scope is waiting for you. Friends, the next career path is preparing for government exams. Now, I'm sure you must be knowing about all these government exams. People from every field and any field can appear for these exams. There are a lot of exams like Bank PO, UPSC, SSC CGL, Railways, Insurance, Army, Navy, sub me opportunities hai. You can give these exams and get enrolled in any government department. Now, a lot of students would say ki, Arpita, clearing a government exam is such a big deal that I need to be academically bright and I have to be very, very intelligent, but I'm not. I am a very average student. Now friends, remember the age old saying, hard work beats talent every time talent doesn't work hard. So if you're just talented and you're not willing to put in hard work in the practice, you're not going to win, I'm telling you. Only with the help of talent, nobody can achieve great things in life. And even if you are not so brilliant academically, okay, okay types, but decide to work hard, you can clear these government exams. And if you type average person clearing government exams, you will find so many videos and stories of people on YouTube and how they worked hard and left no stone unturned to succeed. Stories of students who hardly scored 50% in class 12th, but scored rank one in one of these government exams just because they wanted to prove themselves. So if you are hardworking and dedicated, even if you're not so brilliant, not so sharp, that's okay. With dedication and hard work, you can ace anything in your life. Or Karthik Aryan ke language mein bolu, to problem, problem ye hai ki students government exam ki preparation karte hai, usme se mostly sub distract ho jate hai. Preparation ke beech mein ho jate hai, kabhi preparation karne se pehle hi ho jate hai. They don't study diligently. And then they say, are ye exam to sirf extraordinary bachche hi clear kar sakte hai. Lekin such ka hoon, to problem aapke dimaak mein hai. Problem aapke focus mein hai. Friends, if you focus sun's rays using a magnifying glass on paper, the rays of the sun can burn the paper. So, 
focus is that discriminating factor which sets apart toppers from the rest of the public. And now we land on to the fifth career option which is MBA. To do an MBA from a reputed institute you need to sit for competitive exams like CAT. If you want to polish yourself, enhance your personality and management skills, there is a very brilliant option awaiting for you and that is MBA. This way you can easily get into managerial roles in MNCs and corporate houses. By the way, if you are new to this channel before I move ahead and talk about other career options, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every Sunday as soon as I upload a new video, you're the first one to know about it. Friends, the next option that I'm going to talk about is a foreign language trainer. It's a very different career option. Not a lot of people will tell you about this opportunity. But this is also a very flourishing and a very lucrative career. Also, because in this current age of digitization, all the countries are coming together. Sitting in India, you can watch French and Korean movies on Netflix. Through the internet, we can work with people from whichever country we want. And friends, there's a huge need for translators right now to translate books, journals, web series, documents, agreements and whatnot. You can learn foreign languages online and then can appear for any exam to showcase your proficiency and become a foreign language expert. And this career is an extremely high paying one because in India, very few people know any other language apart from Hindi, English or the regional language. People who have proficiency in French, Spanish, German are in high demand. And because the supply is less, the salaries are very lucrative. Friends, let's now talk about another career option. We're going to talk about management, but this time it's not MBA. We will talk about two very different types of management. Number one is hotel management and number two is event management. With the boom in the travel industry and all these traveling influencers telling us to travel, people have actually started traveling a lot. Where we go to the sun in the summer in the summer and we go to vacation in every other or third month. And with this, the hotel industry is flourishing. There's a need for people who have done hotel management. On the other hand, shows like The Big Day, Indian Matchmaking on Netflix showed us all about the wedding business in India. India is known for the big fat Indian wedding and there are so many different themes in wedding these days. And there is a need for event managers to streamline everything in weddings. Karodpati spent tens of crores on weddings and event managers charge 1% as their commission on these weddings, which is like 10 lakhs, 10 lakh from one single wedding. You can make a lot of money if you prove your skills, guys. Not just these events, but events like Horn OK Please, Zoma Land, concerts, all these other corporate events also need people who are proficient in the field of event management. And since these types of events are targeted towards the elite class of people, there is a lot of money that you can make, right? So. Event management is another big thing that you can think of. Friends, the next career path is journalism. If you are someone who loves being on TV or in the limelight, then journalism is for you. You can do MJMC, which is Masters of Journalism and Mass Communication. And then you can start as a news reader or a news writer or a content writer for these uh, different publishing houses. You can associate yourself with any news channel or you can associate yourself with any publishing house or newspaper agency. Various different kinds of positions are there in these agencies. If you like writing, you can become a news writer. If you like speaking, you can become a news reader or a journalist. So friends, journalism, I think is another great career option that you can go for. Next, we have LLB. A LLB ke baad kya karein? Log sochte hai, sirf private practice kar sakte hai. No, there is one more thing that you can do. You can practice law or you can join any company's legal department. There will be so many things that you will have to do for the company like completing the statutory requirements for the companies, drafting legal notices, completing the legal formalities on the 
company's behalf. This is another type of law that you can practice. Last but not the least comes my favorite career path and that is of becoming an entrepreneur. Friends, this career path has the most potential in the world. Yes, in the world, not just in India. I will tell you how. I take a lot of pride in telling you that I'm an entrepreneur. And as an entrepreneur, your life is very challenging because you start your own company, which is just like your own baby. You have to nurture and feed that company each and every day. There are so many challenges that keeps popping up, but the rewards are also great. I have an edtech platform and I'm a YouTube content creator. YouTube, if you talk about it, is amazing if you have knowledge to share. In fact, post a certain level, your channel gets monetized also. So if you are passionate about something, you can definitely put a business model around it and become an entrepreneur. If you like to travel, you can become a travel vlogger and start your own YouTube channel. You can collaborate with other creators and earn a lot of money through sponsorship and brand deals. Friends, some people also do startups. They start with an idea, then make a company, and then the investors put valuations on their business. Their businesses become unicorns and they become millennials. For example, Ritesh Agarwal, Oyo's founder, was hardly 18, 19 years old when he started Oyo. Can you believe it? This boy became the youngest billionaire. So like I said, there is a lot of hard work, so many challenges, but the rewards are also plenty. So it all boils down to what exactly you are passionate about. If you know that passion, then there's nothing that's stopping you. Find out the career options that will suit you the best and work hard towards it. You will find that there are so many opportunities knocking your door if you just have the potential and you have to stay sincere and dedicated. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video by giving it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions. I'm quite eager to know how you felt about this video. Did you like it? Not like it? Did you find it helpful? Please share your views in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions, any doubts, or if you want me to make a video on any other topic, then feel free to put that in the comment section too. So with that note, I would like to take your leave. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very, very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning. Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.